Live from your news leader, this is WTAJ News This Morning in High Definition. The quest for a new trial continues for Jerry Sandusky. This morning, the convicted child molester will be in court where he is expected to take the stand for the first time since his 2012 arrest. Plus, Donald Trump's visit to central Pennsylvania today is expected to be rowdy with a packed venue and protests planned. We'll have more on his event plans coming up. Plus, football is back. The black and gold head back to the Steel City today for their first preseason game of the 2016-17 season. We'll have more about the Steelers' roster changes for tonight's game. And today is our final day on the road in Blair County. This morning, we will take you to a family-owned business that serves several neighboring counties. Our live coverage begins straight ahead. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to WTAJ News this morning. We have reached Friday. I'm Casey Kance. It is good to be with you. It is a big day here in central Pennsylvania. Former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky is expected to testify at his appeals hearing in Belfont later today. That's a first for Sandusky. The 72-year-old did not take the stand during his 2012 trial where he was convicted for sexually abusing 10 boys. He was sentenced to no less than 30 years in prison. He's appealing that conviction based on allegations that his trial lawyers were ineffective. Well, for the first time in the 2016 race for the White House, a presidential candidate will make his way to Altoona today. Donald Trump is set to speak at the Blair County Convention Center at 6 o'clock tonight. Among the things the Republican candidate is expected to talk about are his plans for the economy and tax reductions. Thousands are expected for today's rally, but that doesn't mean they're all supporters. An anti-Trump rally is planned for outside the convention center. It's good to get information out there for low information voters and, uh, and it's First Amendment right. It's a basic right for every American is to protest what you think is, un, is unconstitutional and not, not right. Doors open at 3 o'clock for the 6 o'clock rally. We're told the convention center is overbooked and no seats are guaranteed. The Pittsburgh Steelers will hit the field today for their first preseason game of the year. The black and gold will face off against the Detroit Lions at Heinz Field tonight at 7 o'clock. Coach Mike Tomlin announced that most of the Steelers' big names will not play in tonight's first preseason game. The good news, I guess you could say, the Steelers and Lions wrapped up their joint practices back on Wednesday without any fights breaking out. Again, that game starts at 7 o'clock tonight. You can see all of the action right here on WTAJ. We are your Steeler Nation station. From WTAJ, your weather authority, here's your weather now. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s. We're at 71 in Altoona, 73 in Johnstown. And we saw a few showers and thunderstorms during the overnight hours. Now we're seeing just a spotty shower. Otherwise, clouds mixing in with a little bit of sunshine as that sun starts to rise. So throughout the day today, we'll have those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. High temperatures in the lower to mid-90s. It's going to be very hot and humid. I'll let you know when we see some relief from that coming up. Christy, thank you. Well, we now begin our final day of our on the road tour. What a journey it has been. This summer we went to Center and Clearfield counties, and now we are finishing up in Blair County. This morning, my colleague Colleen Nelson is live in Martinsburg with more on a unique shopping experience. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning, Casey. We are live here at Mamie's Cafe in Martinsburg, where if you stop by today, between now and 7, you can get a free glazed donut. What a great deal that is. We already have some folks here enjoying breakfast and coffee with us, so be sure to make some time on your morning commute to come and say hi. We're in an area known as the Cove, which, as some of you know, is a lot of farm area, farmland. There's lots of dairy cows, beef cows, chickens, goats, a lot of different animals here, and a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables as well. There's actually a place right down the road where every Monday folks join. They come together to buy and sell items like this. It's a slice of Americana that you don't want to miss out on. Two bags of red potatoes, two bags of red potatoes. Inside the sale barn just outside of Martinsburg, they're auctioning off fruits of their harvest. There's live chickens and rabbits in the next room as well. And for 21 years, folks from all across central PA have gone to buy and sell what they've raised or grown on their farms to the highest bidder. A lot of people here establish great relationships with other people here, become lifetime friends. And uh, that's important to me, you know. Uh, it's not all about business, you understand. It's, it's about community. 
Kenneth adds that there are many bargains there as well. He invites everyone to come out, and you don't have to be a farmer or have something to sell. Fresh farm eggs and boxes of Produce are also some very popular items there that you can check out. Speaking of popular, Casey, these glazed donuts here at Mamie's Cafe. Again, we are in Martinsburg. If you stop by between now and 7, you can pick one of these up for free. Pretty good deal, so be sure to come out and say hi. I'm going to enjoy this, so I'm going to send it back to you. Yeah, I love donuts, Colleen. Thank you. That sounds delicious. Uh, see you uh, when we see you next. Yeah, coming up in the next uh, about 10 minutes or so. We'll talk to you then. Thank you, Colleen. If you've missed any of our on the road stories, be sure to check them out. We have them all on our website, wearecentralpa.com. Still ahead this morning, a local amusement park makes national headlines as a young child falls off a roller coaster. We'll have more on what happened coming up. You'll need your umbrella again today. I'll let you know when the unsettled weather pattern will end coming up.